Hello, I just want to preface this video by saying um, I'm very depressed. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna find out a little bit about that in the video, but the energy is definitely off and that is why um, I'm dealing with a lot of shit right now and I'm going through it So my last video was very like heavy editing and like this video. It's not it's not it's very like mundane my life in Paris while I'm depressed as hell so enjoy <laughs> I hate this fucking picture. Oh, uh, why is it so heavy? Good morning. So it's been a week. A lot happened, but also nothing happened at the same time. My relationship ended unexpectedly, and when I mean unexpectedly, I mean I received flowers two days before my relationship had ended. Um, and then two days later, I was robbed, and my phone was stolen, which is a whole story that I'm gonna talk about on my podcast. That was not fun. <laughs> especially during that week but at the same time i had so many distractions because i really spent truly three entire days dedicated to getting my identity back and getting all of my banks connected and getting logged back into everything setting up a new phone my old phone was not backed up so i had nothing <laughs> sorry i didn't upload last week um i didn't want to <laughs> To be quite frank, I did not want to upload anything, and I think I had a pretty good reason. I kind of thought, after all of this happened, I kind of felt an immediate urge to get out of Paris, like, as soon as possible. So I was, like, looking at going to, like, the south of France and going to all these places. When you're in Europe, I feel like it's kind of overwhelming because there's so many countries. It's like, okay... I can't go to every single one of them, so which one do I go to? I feel a little bit of pressure to like travel. At the same time, I kind of just want to like sit still. Like I have this nice Paris apartment. I really haven't explored Paris much like at all. I, I've been here for like two weeks and I haven't even seen the Eiffel Tower in person. I mean, I can see it from my window, but like I haven't gone to it. I haven't done anything touristy because I've been super depressed like the past week and I don't want to leave my neighborhood like at all. But why am I still holding this? Um, I am going on a trip this weekend and it's not a crazy trip like that I'm like really manically booked but my friend from Japan is like part-time living in Spain and she asked if I wanted to meet her in Spain so I'm going to Spain this weekend and I'm really excited about that I'm literally only going for one day so it kind of felt like a waste of money it'll be fun so and I need to have distractions and things going on in my life so I'm not just like rotting in my Paris apartment alone one of the things that sucks the most about like the situation with my relationship is that he was supposed to come to Paris around this time now all that obviously kind of just got like thrown out the window and I kind of came to Paris for this long with the intention for him to visit me so I wouldn't be alone the whole time and yeah I need to know who in society decided to start putting clear buttons on stoves or just like buttons that are just touchscreen because it's really confusing and really complicated when we used to just have actual buttons to turn on a stove but this is like a very European stove. It has all these buttons. After getting my phone stolen, I'm done with technology now. I'm depressed right now. I'm allowing myself to be depressed. And all I do is just walk around the corner every morning just to get a coffee and a croissant. Coffee and pastry secured. This is all I need. One of the things that I've been dealing with for the past week is trying to get flights for anything. My credit card is having like this internal issue where like you literally can't transfer miles out of the credit card. And I think that's actually insane because 
that's what people use the credit card for is to like, and I have a lot of miles. And after spending almost $2,000 on another phone, after I did buy my phone three weeks ago, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on flights. So I have a lot of miles that I want to use, but I literally just, I simply can't use them. And I've been talking to them all week on the phone and it's no solution. Like they just are like, you have to wait until the system starts working again, but have no time frame for that. So I like don't know when I'm gonna be able to book my flights for like the next month. I have no flight like out of Paris or anything. So it's like more concerning every day. Update, I do have flights now out of Paris and I also booked my flight to go back to Japan, which I'm so excited about because after I got robbed, it did not, it was not fun to spend that much money on flights because I couldn't use my points. I had to buy it with real money, real cold hard cash. I had to buy my flights with and I'm so excited to go back to Japan. I couldn't be, I couldn't express my excitement like enough after being like robbed and everything happening here in Europe. I want to go home really bad. <laughs> Y'all, I probably look crazy because I literally rolled out of bed and walked out of my apartment and stumbled onto this flea market and it goes on forever. They have everything you could ever imagine. This was like too easy. Like I literally did not know what to do today. And then I like just stumbled upon this right outside my door. And I was like, okay, I guess this is what's happening today, which is great. Imagine rolling out of bed to go to the flea market and you end up buying a Mario. I really want to know who these people's clientele is because I can't imagine who's buying this stuff. <laughs> These pants I got at Heaven drag on the ground, but only on the left side. So look at how dirty they got on the bottom. That's so sad. I really hope that it washes out. I think if I lived full time in Paris or like if I got an apartment here, I would only be able to get an apartment in this neighborhood. Like I literally wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I love it here so much. <laughs> These two French girls came up to me and they were like, they were like, we just wanted to tell you that the power of God like compelled us to come over to you and tell you that like, if you're sad, like everything's okay. And I was like, normally I would just ignore stuff like that, but something about them seemed like so innocent. Like they weren't like trying anything. And I was like, wait, why did that kind of touch me though? Like they were just so unnecessarily like kind to me and like didn't want anything and just like told me that. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird, but they were like so sweet. That's my takeaway. Did they make me a believer? No. a woman on the street who was crying and i really wanted to go up to her and be like girl me too like <laughs> we going through it but i don't know why i didn't i still kind of wish i did this neighborhood is very tight-knit like everybody on the street knows each other i was just walking behind this guy for like five minutes and every time he passed somebody they like greeted each other because they knew each other must be nice my wallet is literally burning right now i just spent 60 dollars on a phone case and a screen protector because i got a new phone since it got stolen on top of the 1700 dollars i had to spend on the actual phone <sighs> My wallet definitely been hurting this week and I'm trying to recover. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> Wait, can I take a break? Yeah, I need a break too. Help me.